Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk about a little bit of finding your own path. So often there are these predefined paths of like, this is what you need to do to be successful. This is the route you take. And a lot of that's good advice, a lot of that's bad advice, but I think it's worth mentioning and sort of discussing about how to find your own path in life and in your career and figure out what's going to work for you. I know that the paths I've taken in the past where people are telling me do this, this, and this um, left me in a state where I was miserable, unhappy, wasn't productive, and didn't accomplish the things that allegedly I was going to go and accomplish. Well, once I started defining my own path and how I went about that and made some of my own mistakes that I said, oh, that's not leading the route I want, but because I'm defining the route, I can make those changes, that I started going in the right direction. So we're going to talk a little bit about defining your path and why you should do it. I'd like to take a moment to thank our long-term sponsor, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. I've been partnering up with Dev Mountain for a couple of years now, and I've had the chance to see multiple campuses and housing. I've been really impressed. Dev Mountain has a couple different programs from web dev to iOS development, software QA, and UX design. Some are after hours part time programs, and some are fully immersive programs where they actually include housing at no additional cost so you can get up and go. If you're interested in finding out more, there's a link in the description below. So I've been wanting to make this video for a while. Boise, hey! This ad-friendly video. All right, so uh, we, uh, um, I've been wanting to make this video for a while, and I talk about things like this quite a bit in the live streams that you guys show up to, some just more like real life stuff. And I think a lot of the times people are so afraid to fail. And if they fail because somebody else told them that this was the right way, then that's not on them. And sometimes that's okay. Um, other times it's a little scary putting yourself out there and saying, I know what I want to do. I know what the end goal is. And, you know, we talked about milestones in a, a recent video and defining what those milestones are to get there. But, you know, sometimes you have to figure out what works best for you. So like for me, for my career, right? Uh, I'll, I'll give a couple examples of things that I've learned about myself. And I'm, I'm that's the thing about getting, getting older, right? I'm, I'm not, super old i'm 32 but i'm i'm not a, i'm a i'm a younger man i wouldn't say i'm a young man <laughs> by any means and so um you know you 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 learn stuff about yourself every year right like i think the first 18 or 20 years or so you're sort of just trying to live life get through high school get through college whatnot um you're just sort of doing what people tell you and at some point you sort of become an adult and then you start realizing that maybe you're not getting the best advice or even the advice that you're giving isn't even if it's good advice isn't going to work for you and so you have to sort of define your own path um i know in my career life that you know college wasn't something that and i say this even as somebody who's thinking about going back um or probably going to go back down the road when i want to get to like a director level uh something like that but that that wasn't working for me it time money energy all that was being wasted and just my my happiness level it just wasn't there and what i what i found is that if i'm happy i'm successful and in anything i do and that's usually the goal right it's just what's the point of of having a good career and and a, a good personal situation if you can't enjoy it because you're miserable and I think that's that's worth mentioning that if you're doing something that makes you unhappy, that doesn't mean that you're going to be happy-go-lucky all the time, right? Like, I spent, uh, this is a four-day weekend for me, I spent four days working, pretty much. I, I had uh, one or two breaks where I, I hung out with the girlfriend, and but for the most part, in those four days, I probably put in about 30, 40 hours of work on, I'm building this course, I'm building that course, I'm building this course, I'm doing YouTube videos like this, right? And... It's a lot of work. It's hard. I don't always enjoy it, but generally speaking, I'm happy. I enjoy what I do, and because I enjoy what I do, I'm successful in what I do. Maybe not as successful as you want to be, or it's not going to happen as quick, but it's that continuous one step forward that I talk about so much that's very hard to do when you're on a path that isn't your own. Um, you know, and so like for schooling, for me, that was one that was 
it another thing for me in sort of my my personal relationship life is i i just sort of have realized like what it is i want out of a partner not necessarily what other people say you should have in a partner right so you start figuring these things out and a lot of it's like trial and error it's not like you go and you're like you know you're 18 a fresh adult right you know legally in the states and then you're like i know exactly what i want <laughs> um that's a very naive thing to do and uh i can tell you you know i i'm i'm a fairly uh, calculated individual like on the other side of that wall is my whiteboard with like my vision board on it and like what it is i'm trying to do what i'm trying to accomplish the man i want to be financial goals and then like in the, i have a google drive of like breakdown of financials and right next to that i have a breakdown of what i what's a rough estimate of what i want the next five years of my life to look like and i sort of check over it every couple months to make sure i'm on the right path or i accomplish a milestone i do all that but stuff like that's constantly changes general just more of a general direction like this way or this way and i've found that the things that sometimes i want once i get them or once i invest more time and energy and i sort of see the path that i've laid out that oh you know what that seemed nice but having done that now and you know seeing what all that's about in all aspects of of your career or life or what whatever it is your goal is right that that's maybe a little bit better than what it was or maybe it was worse but now i understand what it is i really want and then you change your path but it's your path to change. And so sometimes you're a little less fluid with how you're going to live your life. And I know for me, up until I was about 25, I felt like I was just doing what my parents expected me to do and wanted me to do, uh, even though I didn't want to do any of it. Uh, and so, and uh, once, I, once I sort of realized what it was, that I wanted to do and how I was going to get there and that if I, you know, just count on myself and, and that the path that I lay out, um, you know, and not needing some external validation. I think part of it, part of like when people go and they go on paths in their life that, you know, they want to please other people. And I generally think, and this is like, people ask all the time, like, how do you stay motivated? How do you do this? How do you do that? And the, 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 truth of the answer is I don't look for external sources of gratification. And what I mean by that is like, I'm the only one on this journey at, at its core. You know, I, uh, my dogs are here. I have my, my girlfriend who's been on this journey for like six weeks. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, but I'm the only one on it. I'm here day in, day out, putting the time in, doing all the things I want to do to accomplish and meet the goals and the milestones that I've set for me and my life. And, you know, people are going to, there's going to be outsiders looking in that are going to be near and far and they're going to get glimpses. But the only person that can really know what it's like to be in your shoes is you because you've been there 100% of the time, putting in 100% of the hours. And so when you fail, it's on you. When you succeed, it's on you. And what it takes to, to accomplish that and the amount of effort you put in it, only you know it. And so as long as you're happy with yourself, you don't need external gratifications. And so that motivation of really having a clear cut idea of what it is and what it takes to get there because you've put in that energy. Once I've sort of have that mental idea, I don't need anybody else to tell me I'm doing good. And some of that is going on a path that other people lay out. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that because you know, everyone be happy or, you know, this is what's expected. Um, I would say stay away from what's expected. Expectations are awful. Set your own expectations for yourself, not what other people expect, right? So like I expect, you know, I've talked a couple times, like I have an expectation that I'll never have to have my mother bring me groceries again. I'll have an expectation that by the time I retire, I'll have my home paid off and that I'll have a, a you know, good retirement fund. I have financial expectations. I expect that I'll, you know, have somebody in my life that supports the type of life that I want to have, which is, you know, a career focused life that we may jump around for jobs and opportunities. And, you know, I might reschedule trips and say, listen, they said, hey, we want to fly out to a conference. And 
have somebody who understands that like certain priorities and how that goes right and so you set these expectations for yourself and when you're happy that's all that matters and i think to do that you have to define what direction you want to go what not other people want to go otherwise it's a very hard thing to make somebody else happy it really is because they may not see all the you know they might get the cliff note version of oh i didn't make it well why didn't you make it how could you not make it and then they don't understand that you put 40 hours into you know whatever it was that you you may have failed at this first attempt but you did you gave every ounce of effort every ounce you put in every minute you had and i've always been okay failing if i you know because i you you learn a lesson right you take a l you get a lesson and also if i put in the effort and the energy it's not a matter of did i fail or am i never going to accomplish this it's just i i didn't get it this time i'll get it next time or the time after that or the time after that it's not a matter of if so much as when because you're putting the effort in and the energy that's why i tell you guys to code every day until you get a job every single day every time someone comes in the live stream and says hey man i just got a job i say what'd you do he's like i put eight hours a day in for eight months this is like just the last live stream I put eight hours a day in for eight months finally got a job went from thirty thousand to seventy thousand with better benefits and and everything else and transformed his his life financially and career wise and it, it's not a matter of if, just when. And like you have to be that person that says, I am a motivated individual for me, for nobody else. And if you do that and you're on a path you've defined, whatever that is, right? It could be a traditional one. It could be a non-traditional one. It could be something in between. It could be fluid and ever changing. But as long as you keep yourself happy with your progress and your goals and what it is you're trying to accomplish and not try to uh, try to make other people happy you'll find that you end up being a little bit more successful and you're know, just happier right like what's the point of what's the point of going through life trying to please other people if you haven't if you're not happy with yourself so that's a little bit about motivation a little bit about defining your path a little bit of everything a little bit of life but i hope you guys enjoyed that video or this video <laughs> with all that being said don't forget to check out my courses in the description below help you ace that front end interview or that whiteboard interview. And of course, please subscribe if you haven't already. We're on that road to 100,000. Really trying to get that silver play button up on the wall. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my latest course, the 100 Front End Interview Questions Challenge to make sure that you ace those front end interviews. Smash that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.